Good morning from Constance Bay, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, zone 5A. As you can see in my indoor outdoor temperature monitor, it's 17.9 degrees Celsius inside. However, at this time, which is 6.30 in the morning, outside, as you can see at the bottom left hand corner, it's minus 30 degrees Celsius, which is minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. But in my Musa Baju box, it's 2.9 or almost 3 degrees Celsius. And in my original Mexican fan palm box, it's 1.1 degrees Celsius. So both are just above freezing. Now checking out my other monitor, which is in the basement, it shows still minus 30 degrees outside. It shows minus 2.6 degrees Celsius in one of my boxes, which obviously is not good because it's below the freezing mark, and 4.7 degrees Celsius in another box. Now here we are about an hour and a half later at 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, as you can see the temperature outside has not changed very much. So this is what it looks out like outside at 8 o'clock in the morning. And you can see the sun is up and we're starting to warm up but uh, it's still very cold outside, minus 30 as you saw. And so here's my banana plant which is in this box, a small box. And uh, that's the one where it was I believe 2.9 degrees inside the box and over there is my Mexican fan palm and so um, it was actually below zero below freezing in that box as you saw from the earlier picture this morning and this box here which has my other Mexican fan palm in it is currently I, I think this is the box that's not being monitored right now because um, I had a problem what I did is I ended up buying two monitoring systems, temperature monitoring systems, but they were from the same company, so I think the frequency is the same. So they, they keep switching over, and so I'm really not sure which, which boxes are being monitored, but I believe my banana plant is being monitored, and this Mexican fan palm, my original one, is being monitored by the, the, uh, by the temperature monitoring system upstairs. And then this Mexican fan palm, as well as, okay, so we're at that one, and then we've got my Trachycarpus fortunae here, and a smaller Mexican fan palm over here, and they're being supposed to be being monitored by the system that's downstairs, um, but I think because the frequencies are the same, um, we're having a problem with them switching over. The problem this year, if you were watching the previous videos was this this box here blew off during a major windstorm that we had earlier it was late in the fall and actually probably in December if I remember correctly because uh, the palm spent a day outside in the in the snow and uh, anyways I think it was okay from that but then when the box blew off the plug the uh, extension cord came undone and so it was about 10 days I think without heat um, but monitoring it at that time the monitor was working and uh, it never got below minus one so I'm hoping it's going to be okay but uh, now two of my boxes at least two of my boxes were below zero last night so what happened I unscrewed some of the Christmas lights and I guess it's not quite enough there's not quite enough Christmas lights in the boxes to keep them above zero at this extreme temperature so at minus 30 so I'll have to adjust that. It's supposed to be above zero um, this week. And so at that time, I'll open the boxes and uh, adjust the screw in a couple more light bulbs so that that won't happen again. Anyways, that's what it looks like outside here at minus 30. And uh, I'll let it go for today. Hopefully uh, my plants will have survived below freezing temperatures inside the boxes. Uh, the temperature outside minus 30. And apparently yesterday, with the wind chill, it was minus 43. So anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.